The Kurdish forces were given five days starting today at 12 to move the fighters from a wide swath of territory just south of Turkey's border. The deal was reached after yesterday's meeting of Russian President Putin with his Turkish counterpart Erdogan. The Turkish offensive has already displaced more than 170,000 Kurds, with thousands of them fleeing to neighboring Iraq, where we are right now. Most of us were uh, not ready for uh, receiving these numbers of uh, people. We're trying our best, like all uh, UNCR and uh, government and UNCR partners, to help these people to support, but uh, still not enough, like we still need more, more humanitarian aid. We spoke to some of the refugees earlier from the Bardaresh camp, who voiced their concern about the situation, saying they left everything behind. Others were saying they were afraid that their homes will not be captured by the Syrian refugees who are currently in Turkey. I left because of the Turkish bombing. My house was destroyed. The situation was very bad. We didn't want to come here, but the situation was so bad that we had no choice but to leave our home. Many are afraid to go back fearing Turkish forces. But President Erdogan said an offensive is no longer needed if the Kurdish forces withdraw from territories considered as a safe zone. Mael Benoliel, I-24 News, Erbil, Iraq.